before I show you the final product, this faceless YouTube channel made over $10,000 with nothing but cute AI generated chick videos. This other one with only 116 videos uploaded on their channel has managed to gain over 1.2 2 million subscribers uploading cut videos another one with only 73 videos uploaded on their channel they have managed to gain almost half a million subscribers i'm going to show you how to do exactly the same thing even if you've never created a video before you will learn how to generate viral video ideas with ai build a faceless youtube channel step by step and start earning money all from your laptop or your smartphone i'm breaking down the exact tools tricks and strategies this channel's are using right now and by the end of this tutorial you will be able to launch your own let's dive in the first step is planning a simple silent story or visual storyboard when we study these channels carefully we notice that there is no narration in the videos meaning your story needs to be clearly told through visuals and sound alone think of something simple and emotional like an act of kindness that transforms the situation and build up from there there are two main approaches of creating content like this the first one is adapting an existing stories from somewhere else and the second one is writing your own original story i will show you how to do both not only that but you also learn how to generate visuals in the same style as the reference channel animate those images into videos add background music sound effects and edit everything together into one high quality video now let's start with the first format of adapting an existing story from somewhere else what we can do is going to a channel of inspiration and extract the format from a viral video pick a video with the highest number of views once selected copy the url of that video from there come to chargpt and paste the url there from there hit enter and chargpt will analyze the link and give you a few details about that video from there ask chargpt to study this video analyze it and write a new story inspired by the same format breaking down scene by scene and chargpt will break down the scene of the entire story from top to end now if this is not the format that you want you want a different format like a paragraph format so that you can understand the concept of the video even more you can simply tell it to give it to you in a paragraph format saying i wanted a single paragraph summary to get full picture and just like that it will follow the details that you want if it provides something that you do not want you can simply ask it for something specific and chargpt will basically do that for you and once that is done step number three is getting the right visual styles we need images but not just any images they should match the visual styles of that channel to achieve this i uploaded uh, three different images that I screenshot from one of the viral videos from Yellow Chicks. From there, I asked ChatGPT to study these images and tell me what style they are using. Is it 3D animated or cinematic or realistic? From there, I just hit enter and ChatGPT provided me with the exact results that I wanted. ChatGPT analyzed the visuals and gave me the clear breakdown of the style used in each one. Now I knew how to describe the visual style properly when asking ChatGPT to generate prompts. From there, it calls for the next step of creating AI art using any platform of your choice. I'll leave the link to all the tools I'm using in the description below so that you can get access to them. I asked ChatGPT to generate detailed image prompt based on the screenshots in the same style we just discussed. I copied those prompts and went to name.video, pasted the prompt in the prompt box. While well, the image is still selected, I came to the mode and I chose GPT image selected the aspect ratio came to filter and selected the highest quality and clicked on generate so this was the image i got from gpt image high quality and this was the image i got from flux pro you can try out different models and check which one generates the best results for you i repeated the same process for the two more prompts and the outcome was just as good this was also from flux pro and this as well was from Flux Pro. I love how the result looked very similar to the original video's visual. This step ensures that your visuals are style matched, not just random. From there, go back to ChatGPT, copy the story that it provided for you in a single paragraph format and paste it into the prompt box. From there, ask ChatGPT to break this story into short scenes and give you matching image prompts for each one using the same character and the same art style as before. Hit and 
enter and wait for the magic to unfold. This is very important, especially if your character is a fluffy yellow chick, like in the yellow chicks channel. It has to look the same in every frame. Now, ChatGPT gave me seven prompts, but I reminded it that the story has 12 scenes and we need visuals for all of them to make a smooth video. After that, it gave me the full list of prompts with consistent characters and styles. From there, it's time to test the prompts. I generated images using nim.video by just copying the prompts, coming to nim, paste the prompt there, and hit generate. If the results you need are wrong or inconsistent, you can try using an alternative to Leonardo AI and check which one generates the best results for you. Now, before turning our images into videos, let me show you the second method that you can use to create this type of a video. I have prepared a prompt specifically for you. All you have to do is copy the entire prompt. It has all the instructions needed for ChatGPT to create this 12 scene story with consistent visuals and characters. All you have to do is change the subject that you would love to showcase or talk about. Once the prompt is copied, just paste it into ChatGPT. Once you paste in your story, here in the brackets, you can change number one, the number of scenes, depending with what you're creating the duration for your video, the type of a character in your story. Here it says a fluffy yellow chick. You can choose a duck, a rabbit, a cat, or a dog. It all depends with what you want to create. You can change the environment. Here it says a colorful village. You can also change the name of your character. Not only that, but you can change the title and the inspiration in your story. Once you change that, all you have to do is a hit enter and ChatGPT will provide you with a 12 scene story. And all you have to do is copy the scene prompts and paste them into any AI tool you are using to generate your visuals. Overall, I love the images that Leonardo AI has generated. So what I'll do is download them and save them in my PC. I love the different angles of the crocodile. This is very good when animating our images. The same applies with the images that we've generated in NIM. You can simply download them by clicking on the download button here. Once we are done generating our images, this takes us to the next step where we need to convert them into 3D animated video clips. To do that, use any AI tool of your choice. But here in NIM AI, you just click on image to video and you'll see your image selected with a video icon and a prompt you can use to turn this image into a video. You can go through this prompt if you do not like it. You can ask the AI to, to rewrite and it will rewrite the prompt for you. Not only that, but you can also add different components to your prompt like the camera movement. You can select follow and click on add. From there, what I want to do is select the model that I would love to use to generate this video. I'll go for clean 2.0. From there, select the aspect ratio. I'll leave it to 16 by 9. Not only that, but on the filter button here, you can add some negative prompts. Once that is done, all you have to do is click on the generate button for your video to be generated. If you downloaded your images in Leonardo AI, just come to open at AI, click on video, select image. From there, select the model you would love to use. I leave it to clean 1.6. From there, upload an image you'd love to animate. Once the image is uploaded, type in a prompt that describes what is happening. Once you type in your prompt, add some auto sound. From there, select the duration of your video, select the quality mode, add negative prompts. And once that is done, just hit on create. Okay, so these are the results I got from nim.video of our mother running away from a crocodile and the baby is kind of like screaming, which is good for sound effects and our mother looks to be in panic which is also quite interesting now these are the results we've gotten from an image we generated in leonardo ai and animated it in open up ai using clean 1.6 let me know which one generated the best image and did the best conversion into a video i would love to hear your response in the comment section below from here we repeat the same process of animating our images and downloading them into our pc once that is done it takes us to the next step where we need to edit everything and the two that we can use or we are going to use is CapCut. Open CapCut. From there, start by importing your media files into CapCut. Once that is done, drag them on the timeline and arrange them according to the sequence of your story. Once that is done, the next thing that we need to do is to add some background music because our story has no narration. The visuals and the sound tell the story. Use free platforms like Pixabay and YouTube Audio Library to avoid copyright or use pet platforms 
problems like epidemic sound. Drag your sounds at the bottom. Once that is done, trim it to match your video. From there, add some sound effects according to the reaction of the video. If the baby is crying, add some background sound effects of a baby crying. The mother is screaming or in panic. Add some background music of a mother screaming or panicking together with background sounds of the lightning, water movement and the crocodile. And once that is done, you can add other filters and effects to your video to make it smooth and epic to your audience. From there, all you have to do is download the video into your PC and upload it to your YouTube channel. After that, repeat the same process and keep on uploading videos. Try to reach up to the 100th video before giving up. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below. I would love to hear from you. If you have a tutorial suggestions, hit them in the comment section below. I would love to respond to them. From here, God bless you and see you in this next video. I love you.